Hi guys, you are welcome to the very first episode of Wellness Kitchen. My name is Tito Ikimoye. I am a clinical dietitian, a culinary expert, and very recently an aspiring professional tennis player. <laughs> The Wellness Kitchen is a show where we discuss everything nutrition, diet, food, and everything in between. On this episode, we're going to be having conversations around carnivore diet. It's not a very popular diet in Nigeria yet, but the few people who have tried this diet swear by the diet. And to join me in this conversation, I have Wemi Sola Ugundikwe. Wemi Sola is a dietitian with seven years experience in clinical nutrition and diet therapy, helping people like you and I live healthier through the power of food and nutrition. Welcome, baby. Thank you, sister, for having me. It's a pleasure. And today we're going to be cooking catfish pepper soup, which is a diet that revolves around the carnivore diet. But before we cook, let's go on a short break. See you soon. So welcome back. Hi, Bemi. Hi, Tito. <laughs> welcome to my set. <laughs> Thank you. So we're cooking today. Okay. Can you run us through what we're going to be doing? Catfish pepper soup. So we have catfish, we have crayfish, mm. we have bouillon cubes, we have salt, we have uh, garlic powder, we have our pepper, we have our pepper soup spice, we have the onions, and we have the pureed tomato. Okay, so our conversation today is around carnivore diet. But this looks very interesting, so let's get cooking. Okay. <laughs> but you're the chef, so no, you should do the cooking. I trust you, I trust you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I trust you. All right, so my first question. Mm -hmm. This whole carnivore diet conversation. Mm -hmm. What really is carnivore diet and what's the concept behind it? And how is it different from the regular high protein diets that we give in the hospitals? Because a lot of people swear by this diet. Mm -hmm. I know it's not very popular in Nigeria, but it's a matter of time before we catch on. So what is carnivore diet? And you know, what are the potential and benefits of this diet? Okay, carnivore diet basically mm -hmm. is high protein. Okay. But the high protein in the sense that mm -hmm. There's no vegetable, no carbohydrates, just beef, chicken, fish, egg, dairy products, basically. So that's all they will be eating? Yes, for the rest of their life. How possible is that? I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like a lot of people just jump on a lot of diet and, you know, I think that nutrition is widely abused, especially yes, at yes. all over the world. You know, when we started a couple of years ago, when we used mm -hmm. to work in the hospital, I would always think that it was a Nigerian thing. It's actually global. Mm. Right? Mm. So people eat only fish and chicken and bacon, eggs. yes. Processed meat, in fact, they add processed meat to it also. So they're not eating any carbohydrates? No carbohydrates. They're not eating jollof rice? They're missing out. They're not eating plantain? <laughs> not eating <patient. laughs> How sustainable <laughs> is that? It's been past that. Okay. Here, what else do you want me to do for you? That's fine for now. You can go and, and chop the rodo. You are in luck that rodo doesn't hurt my fingers. <laughs> How small do you want it to be? As small as possible. Okay. So what are the types of carnivore diets that we have and why are people jumping on it? Because I know that there is vegan diet and vegan diet is a lot of people eating vegetables, and they say meat is not healthy, meat causes cancer. And all of a sudden, everybody is jumping on carnivore diet. Carnivore diet, where you're not supposed to eat anything mm -hmm. plant. What's the sense behind that? So according to those that have swallowed by the diet, they feel that it helps them lose weight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then it also helps improve their mental health. And some also said that it can help with type 2 diabetes. Okay. So it is a weight loss diet. Probably, yes. So someone that is on carnivore diet now is going to eat just this catfish pepper soup? Yes. And nothing else? So basically, we're doing standard carnivore diet. Okay. If it is the um, hardcore carnivore diet, mm -hmm. don't be pepper of any form. Because it's from plants. It's from produce. So we're not adding any plants. So what about seasoning? Seasoning is Including also... Including seasoning, nuts and seed, out of the equation for hardcore carnivore diet. So they're eating... Well, most people do the standard because it's not easy to yeah. adapt. Let's go back to hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> so you cook meat. 
and not put seasoning. Okay, salt, 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 salt and bouillon cubes is fine, but not um not acid. What about no, garlic types? and ginger? Mm -mm. Okay. That is what we adapt to it. The body will adapt to it, <laughs> not our bodies, anyways. I am a jollof rice girl. Even though I don't like plantain, I enjoy. Why do you like plantain? Plantain is also a thing. Anyway, ah! <laughs> I am a jollof rice girl, and I eat lots of salad. Anyway, we are going on a short break, and I'll see you soon. And you're welcome back, guys. So our food is ready, I guess. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So it's time for seven. It's time to taste. Well, before that, let's confirm. Mm. Smelling so delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense why people would want to eat carnivore diet, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just only makes sense. Okay, so it's time to dish, and I will tell you how this tastes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Is that mine? Yes, that's yours. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm, not good with hot food. Fun fact, do you know that my parents cannot eat together? My father eats cold food. My it's mother, cold. the amala has to be steaming. Yeah, well. And I'm a product of that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Just gonna have the cover. Mm. Mm. Careful. Since you're not good with hot food, careful. Mm. How does it taste? I'm coming. No You're coming. <laughs> oh, you guys are waiting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's nice. Hmm. And um, I hope you guys learned one or two things from this episode. Next episode, I'll be bringing another amazing dietitian. This show is for dietitians, just it's because tricky. I'm a dietitian. <laughs> and so we'll be discussing something else. And I hope you learned one or two from this episode. I have to go back to eating this now, so I'm done talking. I hope Bye. to see you next episode. Thank you very much for coming, baby. Thank you for having me. I hope you will come next time. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. Bye for now. Bye.